Good morning, Los Santos. It's going to be a warm one, but let's get you back to the music here on Soul Wax FM. Discretion is advised. Hello, everybody. Zach here, and welcome back to LSPDFR. Today, we are going to yet again be the Los Santos County Sheriff, and we are going to patrol around Rancho, Davis, and Strawberry. Um, I've got a couple different new mods installed, so as well as a couple different call-outs. So hopefully you enjoy this episode. If you do, please like, as well as comment if you have any criticisms or what have you. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we are going to be responding to a call of a stole, stolen police vehicle up here. Um, we're actually going to... I don't need my siren right here. I'm just going to turn my lights on to get through this intersection. We're going to go through here to catch up to them. Be on this... I'm using the American Siren Pack, link in the description, um, in hopes that, you know, most of the sirens will be accurate or closer to what they need to be, and a little bit more, or a little less obnoxious to the viewer slash listener to this. So hopefully they're a little bit better and they don't drown out my voice or what have you. So let's get up to them here. What are they in? Oh yeah, the, duh, they're in the stolen police vehicle that's right here. Let's go ahead. Oh, they spotted me. They turned on the lights and sirens. What are they doing? What are you doing? Oh, they're running. Let's let's go after them here. There we go. Come on. Stop running, ma'am. Oh, nope. My freaking boost made me take cover. I hate when it does that. Don't make me take cover, boost. I need you now. Oh, she almost tripped there. There we go. We tried to get her there. Put your hands up, ma'am. I'm stumbling around like an idiot. Put your hands up. Hands up, down to the ground, down to the ground, to stop Police, running. Stop whatever the hell you're doing! Alright, she is going to be complying. Don't know why she stole that police vehicle. Let's go ahead and arrest her here. Cassandra Smith. Alright, let's go ahead and call in for a transport for Cassandra. Got a transport van over here. Yep. Coming in from right over here. Got the GMC. Oh, shoot. Vehicle related burglary in Strawberry. All right, I am going to respond to that. Let's get to our car as quick as we can. Come on. Let's run a little faster. Suspect is black male, early 30s, heavy. Suspect reported wearing no shirt, light shorts, light sneakers. All right, we are looking. This is actually Fincone's uh, call out. I'm looking for a black male heavy set, I think they said. No shirt. 
Um, so it's a, like a potential burglary suspect. And uh, from what I can gather, we don't want to tip them off here, but we're going to try to locate them. I don't see anybody. Maybe it's in the gas station, maybe not. Not sure at this point. Fincone said I did have to use actual police skills in an attempt to find them. And it says, oop, he's right there. Shoot. I hope I didn't get close enough to tip him off. Is this good enough to, like, witness him and not tip him off by being, like, right here? 81010 Dispatch is calling to make sure I'm okay. Yes, dispatch, I am okay. That's that's pretty cool, actually. I'm trying to witness something happen. Nothing's happening right now. Is there? Um, yeah, nothing I want to do at this point. It said trying to witness him doing something, and he's just kind of standing over there by a car. Not sure if I'm supposed to go and interact. I don't see him committing a crime right now. I'm going to try to approach him here. Tell tell him that we've got reports of somebody potentially breaking into vehicles that... We, oh, shoot. He looks like he's doing something. I don't want to... I don't want to trip him up here. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's all blurry, but he's totally breaking into that car. Yep. I gotcha. Freaking breaking into a car. Get out of the car. Out of the car. Hands on the ground. Or down to the ground. Hands up. Down to the ground. Okay, he is complying. Just witnessed him freaking breaking into that vehicle. John Perkins is his name. All right, we're going to get a... Uh, excuse me. Yeah, excuse you. Are, let's get a transport. Or I think there was actually stuff I could do and talk to him. Can I still do that now? Or no? Hmm. I don't think so. It's not actually coming up. All right, that's fine. I'm just going to call in for a transport for him. Yeah, it's weird. I swear in that menu... There was other stuff I could do and actually talk to them and interrogate them, but We've got an officer just give me a second. <laughs> trying to take care of this guy, make sure everything's good. You also get that vehicle towed now that has the broken windshield. Or broken windshield, broken window, sorry. I actually should probably do that. Okay, transport's here for him. That's good. They're going to take care of him. Yeah, we're going to go over here. We're going to... Mark this. We're going to get. What are we going to do? We're going to get vehicle management up. And we're going to get the vehicles insurance company. So we're going to actually get this picked up. That's so loud. Sorry for that if that's loud to you. It may not be. I might have the game volume down, but it's so loud to me. So two of our employees are en route to pick up our client's fugitive. So yeah, that'll get taken care of by his insurance company. Okay, transport car is leaving. We'll hop back in our car here. Wait, just wait a second for these insurance agents to pick up the fugitive. And then we should be good with this call. Looks like they're in an old bay tailgater. One of them's going to go over there, pick up the fugitive, and that'll be good. So... Oh, not too bad. Witnessed him breaking in, so we'll have to report that, but it was odd. I, th I swear, maybe I'll talk to Fincone about that. I swear that menu was supposed to come up and be able to, I was supposed to be able to talk to him, but I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe something broke. Maybe something broke. All right, well, let's get back out there, head over back towards kind of Davis Rancho. I guess we're in Strawberry right now, but I kind of want to be more in the Davis and Rancho area for now, so... Let's head back over there, see what else we can get into. All right, we got an NPR hit on a possible burglary. We're going to head over there. 
see if we can find the suspect. Let's go ahead and pull over this Feltzer. <laughs> Pulling straight into the d what? I don't even know. Why would it do that? I get it. I honked the horn for it to. Oh my gosh, that was actually pretty hilarious. Why would it do that? All right, let's see if we can approach these guys on foot. We're going to. I don't, I don't need my gun, or hopefully I don't. We're gonna talk to them. You better not give me problems, dickhead. Okay, no. Put your hands up. Hands up. Back in the car. Police, stop oh, I tased you. I tased you with my. Oh no, I'm getting. No, no, it's this freaking call. I hate this call. Are they torch my vehicle? He didn't torch my vehicle though. He did not torch my vehicle, and he's tripping over himself. Let's call him for a couple backup units. Stop running. Put your hands up. Hands up, down on the ground. Alright, go after the other guy, you idiots. No, go after the other guy, you idiots. St come on, let's get this guy. We got- nah, the other guy got away, didn't he? Damn it. Come on, guys. What are you guys doing? Move. Oh, I'm stuck in a- Ah, uh, what the- <laughs> yeah, you're invisible, all right. So that guy's that guy's gone. The guy that was in the car is gone. Damn it! Ah, well, let's go ahead, take this guy into the jail. This has not been a great day. Trust me, I you know I like doing a day in the life of and everything. And this has not been a great day so far. I'll be honest. Waiting for the light. Gotta love it. Come on. Come on. I'm just going through this light. <laughs> light takes about five years. I can, I'm not waiting for that. I have enough patience for that. Yep, let me go through here. Let me go ahead and drop this guy off. I think we can choose to take him into the cell or not. We're going to take him into the cell, because I like that. Give that a second. All right, he's following me. Guy tried to torch my vehicle. You're going to go into this cell right here. Got got a nice toilet in here. Nice, nice, uh, yeah, get out of here. Well, actually, don't get out of here. <laughs> oh, let me close the door. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Head out of here. Copy that. We're moving right now. Ten four. Copy that. Respond code two. All right. We are going to be responding code two to a traffic stop backup over here in Strawberry. So let's go ahead and get over there. I'll hop this curb real quick. Let's see. Come on, let's go traffic. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to stop, you know, just get to the side of the road. I mean, actually, it kind of usually does mean both, but it also means move out of the way. And I wish they moved out of the way a little bit better, definitely when we were at complete stops. Okay, I believe the traffic stops right over here in front of the strip club. Nice. Or near the strip club, right? Never mind. That's a block over. Don't worry about me. All right, we are going to... Going to see what this officer needs. Nice to see you again. Do you do you understand why people don't wear seatbelts? The driver of that vehicle isn't wearing one. Uh, he's also in a motorcycle. Now, he's not wearing a helmet, right? Yeah, he's not wearing a helmet, so there's that. But hang around while I write a ticket, will you? Oh, gosh. Here we go. All right, I'm going to be right back here. Oh yeah, he is wearing a helmet. It's just like it's that's a weird color. I thought it was head. Right 
And that guy's gonna. All I can say is that guy's gonna be pissed for. Oh. Oh, it's that. <laughs> he's wearing a monkey face helmet. It's the. Oh, it's like the glitched helmet. Gotta love it. Well, took care of that. He. That guy. I think he's gonna contest that ticket though, considering he got a ticket for not wearing a seat belt on a motorcycle. But. <laughs> Let's get back over to uh, kind of more of the Davis Rancho area. And we'll see what else we can get into. All right, my favorite ANPR hit for drug runners. This is the one that I have so much difficulty spotting when they drop the stuff. But maybe we'll be able to better uh, see them and find them here. What are they in? Massacaro or Massacro. Let's go ahead and attempt to pull them over here. Actually, we'll wait for the light to turn green because I don't want to get stuck in this weird red light limbo. I'm also like, I've got known drug runners in front of me and I'm just sitting at a light with them. I'm in a police car. Like I couldn't even, I'm in a fully marked unit with lights and everything. So we're not even, uh, not even undercover whatsoever. Man, these lights take forever. Oh, but I hope you guys like my new character. I'm actually using EUP and uh, Skin Changer and I actually went and configured my character the way I kind of wanted him to look. So that's really cool. And you saw him in the beginning kind of more, you know, plain closed. So I really like that. I think it's neat. I intend to use that as much as I can. All right, let's go ahead. That is not where I want you to be. So let's go ahead and get them to... Actually, that's not bad because that's out of the way of... That's out of the way of traffic. Yeah, that'll work. Um, my only concern, should I call for backup? I'm gonna get a backup unit here, um, because we got no... Shoot. Not what I meant to do. That was my bad. Okay. Pull it over. Didn't want to let you go. I guess I, I say, when I do that, I guess I say it over the radio. Hey, go ahead. Didn't mean to stop you. Oh shoot, now they're going after, now they're going. So let's go ahead, what are you doing, Minnie? Let's call for a couple backup units. We've got two units up here. I didn't see them throw anything. Did, uh, did you guys see them throw anything? I didn't see anything thrown from the car. Oh, yep, there's, what do I use to mark? Oh, I see. Shoot, what do I use to mark? Oh, uh, no, I forget what it is to mark. Oh, 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 shoot, I forget. Ah, damn it. I forget the button to mark. That is my own stupid fault. Oh, gosh, we got a lot of units, actually. Oh, my God. Flipping. Just insanely. Safer Chases is uninstalled because I was having a bunch of issues with it, so I apologize. Pursuits are going to be back to their normal selves. There's a police car driving off in the grass over there. So I apologize for them being unrealistic and being GTA AI. We're on coming lanes. We're all over the place. We need to stop this guy because I have no clue how to mark the stuff when it's coming out. That mess. Oh, that car's so fast. That's the only problem. We got to get a helicopter unit here because I'm... I have a feeling I'm going to lose them. Oop, they slowed down for a second. Nope, not helpful. Come on. Alright, let's call in for local SWAT too. We got to shut this guy down. Oh, nice, man. Nice. Didn't work, but it was an awesome move. Stop the car. They're not listening. All right, we got the charger coming in. Are they going in the pit? What are we doing? Watch out, people. I realize I'm all over the place. I got to I gotta keep in the middle, breaking traffic. Come on, let's stop him here. Nope. Damn. Oh, I like how the fan <laughs> getting slammed into by the Crown Vic. We're getting every type of emergency vehicle to respond to this. Holy crap, they were flying. And we can't stop this guy, really? You see this pursuit? I did not actually expect to have a pursuit this insane today. And it's actually as bad as the AI cops are. By default, this is actually a pretty good pursuit. Okay. Taking that back. 
Now my car is a little bit damaged, but we're good. Oh my god, the wrecks that you guys are leaving behind. Come on. On oh, the physics. The physics of those cars. I don't even know. Why are you... Mm. This is not... This is just not going well. We gotta shut this guy down. Come on. My siren sounds terrible. Masakaro, you're... You're... No. No, Van, you're not helping. Oh. Oh, good. There we go. They're already shooting. Hands up. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. Oh, no, 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 don't. Is she dead? No, she's not. Down on the ground. Stop shooting her. She's gonna keep getting shot, isn't she? No, she's not. She's complying. Down on the ground. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that went great. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, let's call for a transport for her. What just happened? What just went flying? A bumper? Get in the car. GTA 5 crashed, everybody. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alt F9. Well, I'm sorry about that. And actually, too, I'm just going to take the, hopefully, best bits of two of these episodes. This is the second time trying to record this that GTA 5 has crashed. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the earlier crash in or not. Um, so I do apologize for that. <laughs> oh. So, anyways, until next time, guys. I hope GTA 5 doesn't crash next time or LSPDFR, whatever caused the actual crash this time. Uh, so, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.